What's up everybody, this is Michael with Reason of Theology asking the question, can we harbor hatred in our hearts towards another human being and yet be in good standing in a right relationship with God? Stay tuned to find out the answer on this edition of Breaking It Down. Alright, so again, can we harbor hatred in our hearts towards another human being and yet be in right standing with God? Today, many people think the answer is yes, but in fact, it's actually no. 1 John 4.20 says this, if we say that we love God, but yet hate our brother, we deceive ourselves, we're a liar. It's impossible to harbor hatred in our heart towards another human being and yet be in right standing with God. And I know that's a tough pill to swallow because we tend to think of our relationship between God as one thing and our relationship with other people as another, and yet they are intimately bound. It is impossible that I can be unforgiving and hateful towards another person and yet expect to receive uh, forgiveness and mercy from God. So if we do not show compassion, mercy, and love towards others, God will not do the same to us. So I know that's something hard to accept because there could be people in our lives who are slandering us, you know, treating us badly, being uncharitable, and it's easy to begin to harbor some hatred in our hearts towards people who commit injustices against us. And yet, we are told, we still need to be forgiving, merciful, and not begin to cultivate and harbor uh, hatred in our hearts, but rather be loving and merciful and kind. Otherwise, we're liars and we deceive ourselves. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Here at Reason and Theology, we've had the opportunity to have interviewed some of the greatest scholars and theologians in the world on matters related to Catholicism, Orthodoxy, Protestantism, Islam, Mormonism, Atheism, and a whole lot more. We ask that you go to the Reason and Theology YouTube page where you can watch some of these episodes that were done in interviews, roundtable discussions, debates, commentary and analysis, and much, much more. We also ask that you go to patreon.com forward slash reason and theology and consider becoming a patron and supporting what we do here on a monthly basis by selecting one of the plans that are available. And then also, if you would check out the reasonandtheology.com website, where we have all kinds of resources, including articles and uh, summaries on different matters pertaining to the faith. And then lastly, we ask that you go to the YouTube page on Reason and Theology and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notification for future events. And once again, thank you for watching and thank you for your support here at Reason and Theology.